Hello everyone and welcome to the OASP Disciple. In this video I'm going to show you how to solve the recursive CSP exercise from the DICE CTF. It mentions that the nonce isn't random, so how hard could it be? And the flag is in the admin bots cookie. We have two links, one for the application and one for the admin bot. Let's take a look at the application. So if we enter any name, it will reflect it back on the page. This is our injection point for cross-site scripting. And as we can see, the server is setting a content security policy with a nonce. If we take a look at the source code, we can see there is a source parameter we can pass. And if we pass the source parameter, we get the source code from the server. Here we can see how the nonce is being calculated for the CSP and we can see the CRC32 algorithm is being used. So we have to find a way to craft a payload that will contain the nonce that will allow us to bypass this content security policy. And this will also have to be less than 128 characters. So this will be the cross-site scripting payload that we will be using to retrieve the admin's cookie. But how can we predict the nonce that we should be passing that will result in the nonce of the CSP. We have to find a way to predict or to collide with the CRC32 value that the server will generate. To achieve this, I found a CRC32 file collision generator. With this tool, we can create a file whose CRC32 value matches another file. In this case, I just created a file with a zero on it, and then with our payload, we can see here that the CRC32 for the file with the zero is this one. I've used this value to craft our payload. And now we will use this tool to generate four bytes that we will append to the end of our payload. And these four bytes will make our file to generate a CRC32 hash that is equal to this one. So now we can just URL encode our payload, then pass it on the name, then we can grab these four bytes and we can add them at the end of our payload. Don't forget to URL encode them. And then once we do this, in this case, it will trigger our payload. It will set the location, in this case, to the Burp Suite collaborator. For testing purposes, I've created a cookie to mimic what the admin bot will be doing. And as we can see on the collaborator tab, we have received our test cookie. So now we are ready to deliver the payload to the admin bot. So now if we send the site with the name parameter with our payload URL encoded and then the four bytes that this tool generated. Don't forget to URL encode them. The admin will visit the URL we can check our collaborator. We see we have a new request and the admin just sent us the flag. I hope you enjoyed this solution. Please leave a like and subscribe. See you on the next one.